Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Coffee and Cannoli podcast here once again with the man below, Putty Man, and the man off to my side over here, Campo. Always on top of Putty. Always on top of Putty. Because Putty is nice and soft to land on. I I guess I'll take it. I don't don't know. I I do like Stay Puffed. Hey, there you go, right? There you go, right? Yeah. Yeah, show them one. I know you have one right there. <laughs> you have it, don't uh, you? No, actually, I don't have it near me anymore. Sorry. Oh, uh, wow. Way to ruin the joke. I would have been a good moment, but I put it away. Sorry. All right. <laughs> no, no, I still have, I still have uh, Max Verstappen uh, on the... That doesn't help me. No, yeah, I just, that's Max not Verstappen. Verstappen. Wallace Shawn? No. <laughs> inconceivable. Inconceivable. Speaking of inconceivable, great segue, Campo. Um... This episode is all about the Xbox Microsoft acquisition of Activision, which we feel was at one time inconceivable. And so, it happened. Um, one of the biggest mergers ever in history. At in gaming 68. history. Yeah. Well, it is the biggest in gaming history, but yeah, 68. And even points. in all history, didn't I believe they paid more for Blizzard Activision than Disney did for Fox? Yes, they did. I think Fox yeah, was somewhere right. around the 52 million or something like that, or 52 billion, I should say. And this yeah. one was at 68.7. Yep. 61 million, uh, 61 billion dollars more than what they paid for Bethesda. So, so, so basically, I, I, I who's I, a better studio, <laughs> right? I, I literally would never see a billion, let alone 67 of those billions in my lifetime. <laughs> I mean, You're not even going to see a billion. Me, okay, well, here, to, let's to, to put in some more perspective here. Um, Nintendo right now is only worth, not only, but I mean, it's only worth 70 billion. Wow. Yes, but Nintendo, when they, when um, a bunch of YouTubers did like videos and they posted about because of what Nintendo has, their, their physical IPs, that even if they keep making failure system after failure system, it will take a hundred years before they go bankrupt. Yeah, because they will never. Every go... time they release an IP game, they make so much money that it doesn't matter what anything else that they've. Well, I mean, just look at the success of Metroid recently. Yeah, right. Like look fantastic at Zelda, game too. Mario, yeah. all th- all of those games did amazing. Just wait till you get a new Donkey Kong game and a new Wario game, and these things. Which come yeah, out. well, Donkey Kong now is owned by Nintendo. Outright owns Donkey Kong now, right? Yeah. Because yeah. the, at one time it was Rare, which is another when, Microsoft. When mm-hmm. Microsoft bought Rare, they already didn't own Donkey Kong. Anymore. Donkey Kong, okay. The yeah. biggest thing they had was Banjo. Which mm-hmm. is still a big franchise. Which, okay, so we're going to get into this talk, but can we can yeah. I start it? Can I just yeah, start yeah. it? Go for it, go for it. So you, not only do you own Banjo-Kazooie, who at one time was a borderline mascot of the Nintendo franchise, mm-hmm. um, you now have the two biggest original... Uh, PlayStation IP PlayStation mascots, which is Crash Bandicoot and Spyro, and Spyro the Dragon. Dragon. Yeah, yep. isn't that insane? It it's absolutely insane. Like uh, at first, uh, Crash was part of the uh, Naughty Dog studio, wasn't it? And then Activision bought Crash's yeah, it, rights. No, it, it was Naughty Dog, and then someone else, and, and then Vivendi, Vivendi yeah, Universal. Yeah. They made this- the bad ones. Yeah. And this doesn't even end here when it comes to those platforms. When I was sitting here thinking about it and all this IPs that they have, let's put it this way. Um, you know, the, the biggest like shooters out there, Battlefield, Call of Duty, um, even if you want to put even Overwatch in there, uh, if you want to put Gears of War Halo in there, if you want to put Doom in there, have we not named every single IP that is a big first person shooter in the world of gaming and development, even if you have, hate some of the games? I think They're Battlefield not owned, owned is the only one that's still independent through yeah, EA. Battlefield Literally. is still owned by EA. That's yeah. that's the only one. And that's but then again, when I, when but I then again, that, Microsoft and it has an exclusive deal with EA that if you are part of the Ultimate Game Pass, you get EA Play for free, mm-hmm. and Battlefield is essentially free. Mm-hmm. So you can get every single FPS shooter directly from Microsoft through their Game Pass once this all goes through. Because they say it's going to be about right. 2023, and I want to stick yeah. this out right, right, right now. They, there, there's a whole thing, and I know your brother had brought this up and everything, about how uh, Sony's still going to be able to put out Call of Duty uh, and, and be able to do all that kind of stuff. And yes, okay, let's say that they do that. But do you understand the exclusivity that Microsoft is going to have on getting first things? Okay, it's going to make me want to get next. If you've you know seen I mean? anything that Microsoft has been doing so far, or or the way that they talk about it, um, what's his name? Jeff Spector? I don't fucking know. Phil Spector. Yeah. Yeah. Phil Spector. Phil Spector. No, um, <laughs> isn't it? It's Jeff or Phil Spencer or something. It's Phil Spencer. Know. I'm thinking Phil Spector. 
Yeah, I was like, he's the crazy guy who murdered yeah. a bunch of people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, whatever his name Phil is, Spencer. We'll look it, up. it is Phil Spencer. Okay, but he said, and if you see the way that they're handling the Bethesda thing right now, Xbox has no, not a care in the world about having exclusivity to these things because mm. they make more money off PlayStation than they do off Xbox. So yep. now they have the ability to milk the entire market, including mm-hmm. Nintendo. Why would you want exclusive rights to these games? You well, don't no, want that. But, that, but that's yeah. not, but uh, that's one. I'm not saying that they're going to have exclusive rights. They can bring, like, say, hey, if you guys want this, you can come over to Xbox. If you want this bonus thing or something like that. Kind of like what, what Avengers did with Spider Man. Exactly. Even and though nobody the, plays Avengers. Yeah, exactly. But the, these games are, are IPs that are played. Here's my thing. I'm okay. I just know, I just have this feeling that Microsoft is going to be down the road and be like, listen, we're a powerhouse now. You're going to have to work with us. And someone's just going to be like, you know what? We don't need you. Like Sony might do that. And Microsoft can be like, all right. And then just like, no. Switch, 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 switch if, anything, no. if anything, you want to know my honest opinion and you can say what you want because I'm not going to believe you. Uh, at some point down the road, Microsoft is going to buy PlayStation from Sony. And they're PlayStation gonna, name? They're, 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 no, they're going to still allow the PlayStation unit to make PlayStations to make money off people who buy PlayStations. Well, and, Xbox and then, already makes money off of PlayStation yeah, because all the PlayStation, the, the online servers, yeah. they're all Microsoft. And, uh, and some of the internals in the system are bought for Microsoft. Yeah. Um, but <clears throat> this is the thing. And, and I see that happening because if you see the way they're doing it right now, Microsoft seems to be all about satisfying A, gamers and B, making money. They don't care at all about the actual what's happening for them because it's all about just making money and giving the people what they want. And a lot of people are saying what they hope by this merger is that Xbox is going to, or Microsoft is going to push these studios to actually make sequels to games that people we have want. been waiting for and, and push out games from people. Like, think about because they're, the they're, they that... don't want, yeah. So one sec, they, they don't want anything to do with getting involved with these companies. They don't want to walk into Activision and tell them how to make games. They're just going to let them keep doing what they're doing, but now they're going to make money from it. That's it. Yeah. But then again, you could also revive some of these stagnant franchises. Like yes. think about what, like give Spyro to Rare and see what Rare can do with Spyro. They would do yes, now you yeah. Now you have Rare that used to specialize in those games. Let them work with Crash Bandicoot and Spyro and let's see what we can get. Can you imagine there. like, or Playground Games doing like uh you know like say a remake of blur blur was a fantastic yeah. underrated game the guys who do the forza series see what they can do with blur and see another thing that i'm noticing looking at the all the license they have for each thing there's so many that could work off each other because they're very similar type games um but they have differences but like for example i remember when overwatch when overwatch was doing all their other ips in the game itself Mm-hmm. Now owning this IP means that they can just say, you know what, we want to put, we want to put uh, the, the what's the name from Doom into uh, uh, into Master uh, Chief in Overwatch. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. You can literally do that kind of stuff. If you want a Master now. Chief skin in Call of Duty. Exactly, exactly. Like, they now have I'm sure that would so sell. Like that, they're that's gonna, the kind of stuff they're going to do to get. They're going to nickel and dime and milk mm-hmm. these microtransactions to no end. Yeah, that's oh, exactly yeah. what I'm thinking about. Tony Hawk Pro Skater, can you imagine like I'm um, having what's his name from Overwatch that has the rollerblades? Having him on a skateboard would look actually look really good in that game. Like there's so many things. Marcus that can- Phoenix on a skateboard. Oh, okay, well that that's weird, but still it can happen. My, that's my point though. There's so many things that I, I'm, I'm thinking trying to think of the ones that would work together so well. You know what I mean? There's so Crash. many things. Yeah, Crash in Tony Hawk. You can do that exactly. Now. Yeah, exactly. that would be awesome. And that's my point. You see so many ideas and go, oh, my God, this is opening so much new worlds. Because you got to think that's another big thing that's happening. With Warner Brothers bringing out multiverses coming out this year, what Fortnite's been doing, a lot of the, a lot of the whole putting things together from other franchises and bringing them in is something that draws people in. And right now, they literally have Activision, Blizzard, Bethesda, and their own IPs, which, of course, they already bought stuff from other IPs like Bungie when it came to Halo, when it came to Epic, when it came to Gears of War. So they, they take these IPs and they still share them across other consoles like they're not like minecraft is a perfect example of that minecraft is such a money maker for them and they paid compared to what they paid for everything else they paid peanuts at two billion dollars for minecraft yeah yeah and it was but it's from an independent guy and i I mean i would be very happy if you just gave me two billion dollars i would never run out of money for the rest of my life right um Uh. but i mean look, look just for example like i don't even need to get into it i just want to talk about what this could mean for like blizzard because blizzard has 
not one or two or three, but like four of the biggest franchises that mm-hmm. have ever existed in PC gaming. You have StarCraft, you have Warcraft, you have fucking Diablo, and now you and then they have Overwatch right now. And Overwatch yeah. added to it, yeah. That is crazy. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. And, and they, yeah. they still have other stuff going on, but like just those four like, franchises. But can you imagine like, like putting WoW on Game Pass now? Mm-hmm. I or promise like, you, with this, you're going to get a push for a new StarCraft game, and in, in Asia, it's going to blow up because in Korea and Japan, they love StarCraft. Yep. And that's like sales in a part of the world that Xbox has trouble. Doesn't have a hold on yet. Exactly. That's that's exactly true. And, and they were even talking about, like, for example, they were looking at old things like, like a prototype. They were talking about how um, they felt like even Bethesda probably could take a, a, a hold a prototype and do something amazing with it where that uh, that Activision couldn't do. That's another thing that they were putting into perspective. Activision's so there's, not that great, let's be honest. I agree, but that's my they point. They have a lot of money. But there's a bunch of things there that other companies no, like no, that was rare, they could take and put over to another end and they go, oh, maybe you guys could work with us and make it better. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, work with, yeah, because they I, have Ninja, I, yeah, is it Ninja Theory they have as well? Yeah, is that one of their do. studios? I They're working on the new that. Hellblade uh, game. But like, think about this: we had Rage and Prey and all those. Uh, imagine that they they got together with some of the people that make Call of Duty and saying, like, let's make something new out of what you two know when it comes to shooters and make something amazing. This doesn't even just help out with what's already the IPs there. This gives them a chance to take other intelligence that's been out there for like Call of Duty and then put them with other intelligence like Overwatch and say, what could you two to come together to make the most ultimate multiplayer game? And if it really was, I mean, I mean, this is just picture like BJ Blazkowicz skin in Call of Duty. <laughs> You know what I mean? I'm just saying they're, it, it, they now it's not even just a matter of the license they have. It's the idea and the, the the things they have that they can come together when it comes to all the engines and so on and so forth that work at these other games. If that makes sense, you know what I mean? So yeah. they have so much open doors now that Microsoft now when they make new games, like remember how Starfield was supposed to be for everyone, but then it became an Xbox exclusive. Xbox exclusive, yeah, exactly. Now they can start making other IPs that could be connected to other ones and be like, oh, sorry, we let you have Overwatch. We're going to have this one. You know what I mean? But again, it may not happen. That's fine. But either way, the point of the whole thing is Microsoft or I say Xbox in general, just they create a monopoly almost. You know what I mean? They're, they're the in a way, the but they're getting games out. And I don't, and I don't want to be a Microsoft uh, uh, defense, like, but yeah. they are getting more games out to the masses this way through Game mm-hmm. Pass. I agree it's with true. that. More people they're giving. And as you see Sony and Retaliation, now this Project Spartacus which is essentially their Game Pass that they're coming out with. And Sony's first-party games, that's something that Microsoft, I don't think, can ever have. Yeah, Like, right. Sony's first-party games are top-notch. Yeah. But Microsoft did grab a bunch of good ones here, though. A, yeah. a ton of really good ones that they could use at their disposal. But again, like they, you said, they're they, smart. They grabbed, in one company, four of the biggest franchises that exist <laughs> in the history of the world. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, so I'm going to give them that. Uh, and then Tony Hawk... Uh, and Tony we, Hawk, we know yep. that three and four are going to come out just like one and two did. We mm-hmm. already know that. They um, have and Candy then Crush. The underground's going to come. Yeah, they got Candy Crush, which is like the biggest app game. Yep, Guitar yeah. Hero, Ben Hero, and GG Hero. I, I I know that they may not be popular people, but I know in the but, states. But, but Guitar Hero needs a, a proper redo. I agree because yeah. the last one was so bad. It was so unbelievably bad that I wanted to break it. But, but the thing is, Microsoft thought- has the money to pay out those artists now for the licensing rights to songs. What if they do something in terms of like it's free to play and every week you pay a fee or a, or like a subscription and to every the week songs. the songs change or something like that. Yep. Get, get freshen it up. You know what I mean? So it's not the same 10 songs all the time. Like instead of like, I remember it was Rock Band 2 where you had all those downloadable songs, but they cost like two bucks each. Just have it change every few weeks. Yeah, they well, it would be like a Spotify. It could be like a Spotify subscription, but it's a, a for that individual. Yeah. So even the artists are still making money, and they could they could even list and be like, "Oh, well, this game gets played more, or this song gets played more in the game, so it's definitely more popular. So you're that those artists make more money, and it, it's a win win yeah. for everyone. You know, what for I mean? everyone, so and it gets those popular, artists exposure too. Exactly. Yeah. And then, there, then there's the artists that don't even have exposure. Like, dude, yeah, put my song on there. They throw those in there, give them it a little bit of discount price or something else where you can either buy them individually or have them in the subscription. And boom, now you're giving us new artists. Like, I never heard of this person. I don't oh, want that idea at all. I, I agree with maybe I pay 
every six months I pay ten dollars and you give me a hundred new songs or something, but I'm not yeah. going to buy two dollar songs. That's such a waste. No, of no, I'm just I, that's what they used to do. But yeah, yeah no, yeah. I think it's a flat like you know how they have different tiers of Game Pass right now. The Game Pass Ultimate's like twenty dollars Canadian, and you pretty much get everything up at the twenty five dollars, and include the Guitar Hero stuff in that. That could make them a lot of money. Yeah, I agree. Mm-hmm. And and like, but my main takeaway from this in general is just, I think it's a it's a good thing right now. I think what's what happened is good. I, I'm not going to ever say that this situation was bad, but I can't. We have to put a cap on this in the point of like what's happening with Disney right now, where they're, where it's like legally being considered a monopoly and they're no longer allowed to buy certain things. Yeah. So I don't think that, that any more major studios should be allowed to be bought by Microsoft because yeah, it, I think it should gaining, end here. They've gained too much. I think even for them, they know this is what is it. They, they need to stay ready to just push out games and make money now. Yeah. Right? You, like you've spent a hundred billion dollars. Uh, yeah let's make some money back and they literally have two like they already had kind of icons and see remember we always had the whole situation where i i, I remember back in the day they were using uh viva pinata as their mascot kind of for microsoft they now literally have two characters one that was literally a sony mascot that they no longer that they own now which is crash bandicoot that they could be like could use as their own mascot if they wanted to you know what i mean i mean it, it, again i don't, I think, they don't think they will they will now, I know they will. I'm not saying they will. That's not what they're target for. But my whole point is, is they now have the market for like, when I say mascots, I mean like something that draws the kids in. You know what I mean? They definitely now have a sub a group with Spyro, Crash, and other stuff that they that have, that, that have like, that, that would be for more. They for words. I kinda, those games. Sorry, yeah. go, you go. I was going to say, I kind of agree with you. They kind of now have their fingers in different types of markets. Mm-hmm. Like with Candy Crush, they now have a handle on the, on the mobile market with one of the biggest mobile games there is. Mm-hmm. And they also, like you said, now are finally going to get their foot in the door in the Asian countries like China, like uh, Japan, like Korea, where Microsoft is not a big name, but now with these big franchises, i.e. is in StarCraft, they got their foot in the door in these Asian markets now. Mm -hmm. And that's what they want. I think this is more for building exposure for a long-term gain. Yep. It's going to be a long, you know, we're not going to, they're not going to see dividends for this for another 10 years. They've had their foot deep in the grave of PC gaming since the beginning and and what they can do with a thing like Diablo or Starcraft or Warcraft it gives me hope that to make sure these games are good because not like Diablo 3 was bad but it was missing something that Diablo 2 has which is the reason I'm still playing a a 30 year old game like I don't even know how old it is but I think it's close to 20 but yeah I'm absolutely still addicted to it and I can't stop playing it yeah and and I don't know, but I, or I we think, won't get something shitty like the the WoW remake. Yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. And I think what they should do right now is they should definitely they should go for Banjo. They should go for all three of those t- Crash and Spiral and try to make a game in the the same vein as Mario Odyssey, where it's a big platforming game that's gonna sell a lot because yeah. you that's what those need. And I think Crash is, can be more than just a linear platform game. I know they've tried and they failed, but I believe that it can be. Yep. And now you have a you can make fighter game with all your IPs. Now oh, you yeah. can make a like, a, like a Smash game. Brothers type. You can of... make your own Smash and do a better in PlayStation. And that's the other thing you got to do is smart because PlayStation really messed up on that. But again, even in that scenario, that some of those uh, I, uh, you know some of those uh, IPs they were directly in Sony, but they used some from other IPs as well. But now it's like they literally have enough IPs to make a, a, a one as big as Smash now. You know what I mean? I mean, it, it, some of them might not be as appealing, but still, you could literally do that now. You know what I mean? As long as you do it right, is, that would be the hard part, you know? So, but yeah. You could do a kart it, racer. That's... Oh, <laughs> I, would, I would love a kart racer. Master Chief. Oh, my God. A Master Chief and his Warthog. On a, on a Warthog, right? <laughs> yes. God. I'm sold. I'm sold. I'm like a I'm already sold. Warthog. There you go. I'm already. I'm already seeing a bunch of vehicles. Minecraft. You can see him in, in a minecart and everything. Uh, racing. You yeah. Could the, have... the creeper. Oh my god! The Tony you, Hawk can ride a skateboard. You, you literally could have the yeah exactly. Yeah. You can literally have the character from can You can have like one of those little movie characters in a Candy Crush card. It doesn't matter. The whole thing is it's all there. Like yeah, they can totally wow. do that. They can totally oh. do that. It's it's 
it may look bad on the surface for some people, but I think I think in the long run, this is going to be this is going to benefit gamers. I think if you're um, a PlayStation person or a Nintendo person, this feels like a bad situation for you. I yeah. feel like if you're just a gamer who really likes to game, this is a great thing. It's getting more games. But we out have to, to the put masses. a cap on it. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I sent you a message the other day, Campo, like we were joking around, like all the PlayStation guys are going to start crying because now they can't play Call of Duty anymore. And I don't think that's going to happen. I think no, they're Call of Duty going to be released. Yeah. Call of Duty is too big of a franchise to lose money on. That's why they bought that's the- a cash cow. That's the old that Activision was bought for Call of Duty and Blizzard. A hundred percent. But see, yeah. here's my thing. It was an the- easy target because of all the stuff going on at Blizzard. Well, like when, was like, just give yeah, us money. Because we'll uh, Rob Kotick, even though the, he said he's going to stay on until the merger is complete, Kotick's going to go. Yeah. They got to get rid of the guy. Well, let me tell you this. When I was talking to your brother, he brought up a point and I said, okay, there, there was already a deal made with Activision to be the uh, exclusive for PlayStation for, I think, till 2023 or something like that. Mm-hmm. And that's still so, on the table. Yeah, that's, that's still, still on the there. Table. But I, I guarantee you things are going to shift, especially for some people where, yeah, we're still going to be playing PlayStation, but. If, like, for example, if Xbox gets zombies even one day early, there's going to be a lot of cod heads that are going to be like, I, I want to be over there for the first day. I, I am be. not going to buy a system just to play one day. Of no, something. I'm saying I'm saying, but that's what some no, people I think. Do, I think the multiplayer, the multiplayer, they will release day one on all platforms. The only thing I can see them putting as a timed exclusive is either upgrades, skins and story mode. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Right? Skins, weapons, stuff like that. You want it first, you got to get it on the Xbox. You know, story mode, if you want to play that, that's on Xbox for like three months or something like that. And then it's going to move over to... Uh, but hopefully this whole situation pushes PlayStation to pump out some more of their exclusive games that everybody loves and uh, not make us wait 30 years for Uncharted or... Uh, yeah. You know, let's but also let's not hope that they push out more games that yeah, you don't want to like, quality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just because be like you I don't mean, want to get Last time. of Us three just because. Yeah, like I mean, I'm happy if they can do like if Sony does two a year. Yeah, like yeah, this year I'm we're getting some time to play it. Are we getting? Yeah. I think we're getting Ragnarok this year, right? God of War. Yeah. Uh, what else does Sony that. have in the in the works for their for their exclusives i think I it's just remember. god of war right now right isn't there a marvel game coming uh that's not till next year right no, there's, 20, there's wolverine no, no, look, there's, 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 there's spider-man and wolverine those are the only two marvel games that are coming up that are sony exclusive something is there like something black sun or something marvel black suns oh yeah that is golden sun or something no golden yeah, sun yeah, is yeah, a yeah. Boy game. Uh, what's it called i know what you're talking about midnight suns or something yeah something like that I, but I think that's cross-platform, that one there. It might be. Anyways, let's just get some yeah. more game. Get me another Batman game. Um, get me another... Just keep giving me Spider-Man games. I don't even yeah. care. Yeah, right? But, but like, yeah, I, I'm, no. I'm, going, I'm going through this, and it's like uh, the IPs... I, I, I'm going to... Like, I'll... I'll, I'll Wrinkle your guys' brain a little bit. Yeah, we it's for- called Marvel's Midnight Suns. Midnight Suns. I was close. March. Oh, it comes oh, out in I March. Know, I know. What oh, this one. I, I, is that PlayStation exclusive though? I thought that was uh, no. Like I think a- that's uh, multi-platform. Yeah, it's on yeah. everything. It's on everything. Yeah. Just but, um, like Gotham Knights. Ooh, looking forward to that. Oh yeah. Okay, so Sekiro, um, uh, Sekiro Shadows of uh, uh, Shadows Die Twice. That that's from Act- software though. No, that's Activision. But that's it- from software though. Activision it? published it, but it's from software. It's the same guys who do Dark Souls. Oh, that's what they had in the list here and everything. So, I mean, well, how does that work then? I wonder. It's on it all says... platforms, Sekito. No, but oh, they're saying this it's game's made by 2K. Which it's one? It's going to be shit. Uh, Midnight oh. Suns. Oh, then it's going to oh. be terrible. It's going to um, be just as bad as Avengers. But, um, uh, yeah, we are, we, the only thing that we didn't name in Blizzard would be Hearthstone. And I don't know how big Hearthstone is. Hearthstone is pretty big. It's a yeah. big. I, I know it, it's a it almost game. rivals, uh, like it's uh, magic, almost rivals. Yeah, magic and stuff like that. And Gwent. Gwent. But, I like but I'm look, Gwent stuff. I, I, but see, I'm looking at that and like, for example, with the with the Bethesda, they have Fallout, Doom, Wolfenstein, Evil Within, Elder Scrolls, Dishonored, Quake, Starfield, Rage, and Prey. Like, what do we see there? 
that could coexist with Elder Activision Scrolls. IPs. Like, how, how, like Elder Scrolls is a prime example. Like Elder Scrolls, um, you're telling me they got WoW and Diablo and Elder Scrolls. Elder Scrolls okay, yeah. how about this? How about this? Because they own Bethesda and now they own Obsidian. Can we get a uh, uh, Fallout New Vegas too? Oh, why'd you do that? Why'd you do that? Yeah, we can. Let's get it. Uh huh. Yes. Right, because Please. they own they own Obsidian, right? Yes. Yeah. So outer yeah. Outer Worlds two is going to be an Xbox exclusive, right? Because it's Obsidian software now. Because the first one was on multi platform, but Obsidian did Fallout New Vegas with Bethesda. They own yeah. both. It can be done, or something like a spiritual successor to it, or something. I think we actually talked about one that one time too, didn't we? Because I was like, "Oh, I wish they make a sequel." Like, no, it's not possible. I can't remember, but I, or something like that. But now it is. Oh my god! Now it's possible. Like, I would love to see a New Vegas too. And see, here's another thing too. You know, how I would we, take I, this shitty taste out of everybody's mouths from 1979 you know, or whatever the hell it was called. And, yeah. and you know, what's oh, Fallout seventy six. Yeah, I know. And see, here's, I just thought about it because I was always talking about how Fable lets you go good or dark side, kind of good or bad in their stories, which has always been what all, you know, what the uh, Elder Scrolls has kind of been as well, too. Mm -hmm. So, like, I would love to see Bethesda take over something like that, like Fable. Like, see what they would do with Fable. Uh, The company that's doing uh, the new Fable game is, uh, I think it's Playground Games, the guys that do uh, the Forza Horizon series. Well, that's a good choice. They're, they they have some graphics that are fucking amazing. Yeah. But either way, you just told, you just explained right there. That's that's the reason why this is gonna be so good because there could be some of these things like the, I don't know, the evil within. Like, what yeah. if they're taking they're taking the guys the guys who are developing it are uh, Playground Games, but it's being written by some of the guys from Obsidian. So it's gonna it's be gonna good. be a it's gonna be a good game. Wow. Yeah, so it's like we can now, like, basically, we're ta- you were talking about the multiverse. This is the Xbox multiverse yeah, now this is the Xbox coming multiverse, together. Yeah, and now they can start. We can start seeing characters you would never, you that you would hope to see go into another franchise, but you're like, oh, they're owned by two different. You know what they should do? That. Can I? Can we have a talk here? Sure. Right, so, ahead. right now in the fighter market, I mean, I don't really like the game, but Smash Bros is like. Maybe not the most played, but it has the strongest fan base probably of any fighter. Passionate fan base, I'd call yeah. it. Okay. Mm-hmm. What if, by chance, uh, PlayStation and Xbox were like, well, you know what? Let's make a dual platform thing where it's called Xbox versus PlayStation or something. And we have all of our IPs in it. And then we can keep releasing IPs as time or as exclusives or, or non-exclusive yeah, and console, charge people yeah. money. Yeah, we're gonna pay for it. Oh shit! What a good idea. Let's both make and, a lot of money and do yeah. and do what Wonder Brothers is doing and release the game for free. Yeah. Uh, but now with all the companies that they own combined, they have so much power to make a well, good game. Well, yeah, that's what that's what I'm talking about. Again, I, I, again, I don't know how much you two are familiar with multiverses. It's 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 it's, a, it's basically a clone duel where you play in t- uh, teams of two, which you can't play by yourself. But it's another a new Smash Brothers game that's coming out by Warner Brothers, and I've been hyped, I'm getting hyped about it because they're literally bringing in IPs like they brought out Shaggy from Scooby Doo. Okay, well, let's put Ultimate. it this way: I got hyped up for the stupid fucking Nickelodeon one because I just thought, wow, you could be all these characters. That's going to be pretty fun. It's going to be a stupid Bob fun beating game. up on Hey Arnold, and it wasn't that good. No, no, they were talking about that. A lot of the reviewers are saying they said the same thing. If you go see clips of multiverses, they, it, 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 you know, until we it play, it looks we don't exactly have like the Nickelodeon. One. Yeah, I know, I know. But the thing is, I feel like at least if they if they did the gameplay right, as far as gameplay, visually, there's a lot more going in my eyes for that than Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon has a lot of IPs. But Warner Brothers, like, you got to think, they have all the stuff from, like, uh, Mortal Kombat. They basically, yeah. everyone who wants to know just watch the new Space Jam movie. And you right. can see yeah, all yeah, Warner Brothers. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. But hopefully did in a good fashion, because they got the original actors. They got, what's his name, to play Batman, um, freaking, um, from the old anime series, um. Kevin Conroy. Kevin Conroy. Yeah, they got that he's playing Batman in the in, in the That's game. That's blasphemous that you forgot his I, name. I had a brain part, okay? But like they got that guy I, that played the Joker. I you're an ass. I Mark know Hamill. I know Mark Hamill is, okay? <laughs> anyway, but they had I know how, you're going to get mad at me like, "Oh, you watch his ranking the Batman actors list." Yeah, right? But of course you say like, "Well, Matthew Lillard, you remember his name, but he plays Shaggy in that as well." So they're bringing out big actors to make this thing huge, but the way they're doing Wow, it is they, they didn't bring back Casey Kasem? 
Oh, yeah, Crazy from the do dead. That from the dead. dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm Crazy Kason. <laughs> anyway, but but yeah, but they're making it for free, and that's one thing that I noticed was smart that a lot of companies are doing. Make the game for free. Have the skins and all the cosmetics and all this stuff to make them look different. Like having different Batman suits be the thing you charge for. You know what I mean? <laughs> what, what was yeah. the radio show that he hosted? America top 40 top 40 America top 40 yeah I think it's now hosted by Ryan Seacrest isn't it what a luxurious <laughs> voice that Casey he had, Casey. Though. I know Casey right Casey. Yeah, welcome I'm to Casey. American top 40 like he just made you want to take a nap all the time I wanted to him and Morgan time Freeman and have him just say the yeah. most the most the most craziest shit in the world with a little bit of cuss words I don't think I, I don't ever see him like saying a cuss no word, I don't think I could ever see Casey Casey swearing you know what I mean I'm Casey Kasem. Fuck them bitches. I'm like, Casey Kasem and go fuck. Good yourself. thing I'm not monetized. Yeah, right. oh, yeah, be monetized. okay. We're deep enough. No one would find it. By no now. one would find exactly. it at this point. But yeah, um, going back. So um, we all agree that this could be a good thing for, but it has to end. Yeah, it has to end. And I just hope that. Uh, yeah, if they want to help out indie studios by acquiring them and giving them the money to make their games more, I'm okay with that. But I think you gotta you got to stop them from from buying wiring and the yeah. fact that they're an american company and there there's laws in place in the states to stop monopolizing uh, i mm-hmm. feel like th- that's gonna where happen. It, yeah but or we're gonna see playstation do something batshit crazy or nintendo and buy something huge yeah, watch the like playstation like, by have, warner brothers studios yeah. it's but been the a problem while is- since nintendo threw their money around and, but you got you know, Nintendo, Nintendo, possibly Sony. I'm, I'm a little bit worried about the reason I say that is because the one thing that has Xbox help is that Microsoft Windows has been on PC for so long that it's just uh, everyone uses it, you know what I mean? And that's going to be something that's always going to bring them money well, in. Microsoft makes a lot of things that people don't even know that you're you own that well, are yeah, made by yeah. Microsoft. Uh, Microsoft basically has a they're like a money printing press so Xbox could fail forever and they would never stop making Xbox I think Microsoft right now is over is yeah Microsoft is valued at seven trillion dollars yeah right now trillion with a PlayStation is like 80 percent of the profits from Sony so and the rest of it's like the movie studio it's just Spider-Man Spider-Man yeah Yeah, Spider-Man and and PlayStation then they're like they they don't. They don't even have Walkmans no more. They Walkmans, just, yeah, Walkmans. Those big like, yellow cassette. Decks. Listen, I, I won't never doubt what Sony has done or can do. But yeah, because the their TV sales are gone. They 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 started out making really good TVs. They let it go. Samsung and LG now dominate the whole market. Any other company that you buy their TV, their panels are made by LG or Samsung. Um, and the same with phones. So LG and Samsung make this phone screens for every company except Apple. Yeah. Um, yeah. You have uh, Sony. Their their movies have been tanking lately, except for Spider Man. They need to get Spider-Man's a hold of the only that. thing they have, yeah. but they're okay. Uh, they're sa- they don't make CD players anymore. They nope. don't make yeah. tape players they anymore. They don't watch men. That was I don't know if you remember the television. Now, if you're buying MP3 players, the Sony one was good for a bit, mm-hmm. but now you have the Dune was terrible. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but it was it was cool in what you thought what it was going to be and then it ended up being bad that yeah. was microsoft right yeah, yeah and you know. remember the windows phone yeah yeah that was another I, uh, my my htc was windows um but anyways like there the market for sony is is shrunk to the point where all they really have is tvs and movies and the playstation and the playstation and the tvs aren't doing so hot yeah Mm-mm. And the PlayStation Five, if you can get your hands on one, yeah. That they're that, that's what is it? They're putting back in production PlayStation Fours. They yeah. are because they because uh, uh, people are buying. Like I was seeing a video online, and they were saying if you own a PlayStation Four right now and you have a PS Five ready, this is the market to sell right now because the people are buying PS Fours and they can't be okay. PS Fives. Are you and ready? Buyers. Are you ready for this? Because you live in the states. So what happened is because there's no Xboxes available or Playstations. There's no new Xboxes available. Um, GameStop is selling refurbished. The last generation, the Xbox One X, are selling for 390 American dollars. When they came out, original release was $300. They're selling for 90 more dollars used because everyone wants a system to play and no one can get the new systems. So they're I bought a my I bought my user. Project Scorpio secondhand. The One X. Project Scorpio. Yeah. 
Oh, I hate you. That's the legit. And I bought it for like 200 bucks. Those are like pretty limited edition yeah. too. They weren't like wide release. No. It, and I paid like 200 bucks off a guy, uh, off a guy on Kijiji. He I didn't know what he had. One. He didn't know what he had. One. Those things wow. are powerful as hell. Yeah. So I'm happy about that. That's why I hey, got that. Did you get the, the controller with it? And no, he didn't have the controller. He just it was just the base unit. Mm. Which is still, I'll take it. Yeah. Yeah. I remember it. seeing it at EGLX the first year that we went. Mm-hmm. Uh it was like right before it came out, they were showing the Assassin's Creed game on it, the one that came up before the Odyssey, I guess. Uh Origins, the one in Egypt. Yeah. And uh it was like powerful, man. It was crazy. Like, the, the load times were, were super like, fast. The graphics were like uh, blow any system out of the water at that point. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that was a, uh, a powerhouse. They, the one I have, the Project Scorpio I have is actually more powerful than the Series S, the all digital yeah, next yeah. gen Xbox. Oh, th- that also, those are selling brand new in the States for like 290 but the, yeah. re- the refurbished Xbox One X's are 390 Yeah. They were showing it on YouTube how crazy it is. Yeah. So. No. On that note, do you guys have anything else to add? No, just uh, right. Microsoft or Xbox, as to say, just did a, a game breaker here. They, they yeah, just, game changer, you know. so to speak. Pardon the pun. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yep. On that note, guys, thanks again for joining us. We'll see you all next time.